Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. If you're like me, you like using computer-based tools that are simple, easy to use, fast loading, and respectful of your privacy. Well, today I'm going to tell you about a handy online photo editor that meets all of this criteria and more. It's called Edit.Photo, and to use it, simply type that name into your browser's address bar. And this is what you'll come up with. Edit.Photo. That's it the free online photo editor in your browser. No pop-ups to close, no ads to ignore, no cookies to accept, no account to create, and 100% free. Now there are two ways to select your photo. You can just click select photo and either browse the device, select from a gallery, or take a photo with your camera. But the easiest way is to just drag and drop a photo. Right now I have a photo on my desktop it's a photo of a dog. I'm going to drag it down here and release it. And there it is. There are several good options here. Um, nothing fancy like you'll find in Photoshop, but for 99% of all the photo edits you'd ever want to make, it's all right here. For instance, you can rotate left. If you don't like the change you just made, you can click undo. If you say, well, I really like that change better, I think I'll go back to it, you can click redo. You can flip horizontal, or you can crop, and there are several ways to crop. You can either choose uh, one of these custom formats, or you can choose this right here, to, to like for a free form. And over here you can click filter, and it'll give you all different kinds of filters that you can apply instantly to the photo. For instance, that one there will lighten it up a little bit. One of these over here will turn it to black and white, and you can just, you can just go through those and just choose one you like or you can choose none at all you can uh, you can type text into the photo by t clicking annotate go down here and click text and then type what you want to uh, click where you want the text to go rather And let's see, you can resize, of course. Just put in your new uh, pixel size definite down here, width and height. And when you made all the changes you want to make, if you can save it by clicking export. You can choose JPEG, WebP, PNG, or GIF. You can choose the image quality that you want to save it as. Of course, the higher the quality, the larger the file size will be but I always like to save mine at 100%. When you're ready to download, just click the download button. It'll save it to your downloads folder. Or you can click copy to copy the, photo, the, the image that you just edited to the clipboard. Or you can click the print button and just go ahead and print to the photo directly. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I really like this little photo editor. It's free. It's completely private. Like I said, um, your photos are not uploaded. Image editing happens in your browser. No cookies, no pop-ups, no accounts, no ads, no tracking. And if you're wondering how they can do that for free, well, here's the explanation. The photo editor used is called Pintura, which is a commercial product. This web page serves, serves as a demo of what you can do with Pintura. Companies that purchase a Pintura license indirectly finance Edit.Pro, which is the online tool that, you, that we just demonstrated. Pretty neat, huh? Well, if you like this tip, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to help me get the word out to more people. Thanks a bunch.